Hey guys, Chelsea here. Now, this video is going to be talking about the new dev post, which, well, just got released a couple of minutes ago, but it's called Making a List in a Better Place. Now, they say it's going to be a weekly series, and I think if they do this, this actually could be better for the community. If, you know, they're listening to the community and focusing on different aspects of the game, so like, and I think this could be good in the long term. Like, this could be a very good, you know, thing long term, depending on what they fix. Like, for example, there's, cause there's a lot of community issues at the moment, so this could be very good for the community, and I generally think this could be a step in the in, in the good, best position, in my opinion, it could be a step in the right direction. At the moment, they've only done two things, which is an improvement to engineers and an improvement to chat, so tiny, I'm thinking what these are going to be, these are going to be tiny minor updates at best, but they're going to be more quality of life updates. So with the engineering, they made it so, there's a couple things. First, that you can rotate um, you, know, you can rotate cannons and stuff. So, if you're building AT guns, flat guns, or machine gun nests, I believe you can now rotate them, which I think is going to be very, very useful, especially since it will kind of awkward, kind of a bit clunky at times. And it also, apparently, the projection now shows the direction that they're looking at. So, what I'm thinking is when you're spawning in you can actually I think what they've done with this is that because it says here what's it where is it we're building a wood display where the allies are facing when they spawn so that's going to be quite useful could be I think this is kind of like a hit or miss like for useful players it will stop them from you know say oh look there's a wall here so I'm going to make it so that you're facing this way which, for, which forces you to go down a, a corridor out of line of fire or it could be used for trolls to say, ha I'm going to trap you in a tank. So, mixed there, but I think it could be interesting. There's also a quick chat upgrade, which I said, which I'm thinking, I don't use quick chat at all, but this is going to be better, I believe, for consoles. Like, So, I think that's quite good. So, apparently you can ask for um, ammo and rally points in the... <clears throat> Um, in the quick chat, which I think is quite good. Now, when a couple of people I've been playing with, they often go run snipers, and one of their big issues is not having enough ammo, so they've had to ask other people in the call for ammo, and this basically throws them out of position, and I think... So, this could be useful in the long term. Yeah, um, apparently uh, something about they've made construction easier as well, which I think could be quite interesting. Oh, they also reset the um, operations, so for some reason there was like this, I'm going to post it on screen right now, but this, there was this huge thing where um, there was this one guy who had like one game where he had like a, a few hundred kills or something like that, and he was top of the leaderboard with like a thousand percent win rate, or win rate or something like that, and that was just absurd, like, come on. Uh, so they've updated it, so now it calculates battles and percentages of wins, and no... And so now no longer you'll find people who just, they, they did one, had one fantastic game, like, you know, getting 400 plus kills a game, game, and then they just got to the top of the leaderboard. So I think that's been changed. They've also done a couple, you know, bug fixes and stuff like that. So it's a tiny minor update, but I think this, like they said, this is going to be a weekly thing. So this could be used, could be better in the long term, in my opinion. Anyway, I hope to see what you guys are thinking about this. Leave um, leave your thoughts in the comments, and I'll see you guys in the next one.